Hey, my peoples. So today, I got my window open because it, it's nice outside. It's nice. I want some fresh air. But, <laughs> so I've been wanting to do this look for so long. It's just like, it's just like a little smoky eye with glitter on it. And it's not exactly what I wanted. But it still looks nice, and that's what I'm here for, is to give you new ideas for makeup, and just share what I can do with you. So, I might explain this foot on my door in the future, but for now, I hope you enjoy this video, and don't forget to subscribe, down there, give me a like, and share this with your people. I hope you enjoyed the video, and goodbye. <laughs> So, getting into t t t get into the tutorial, first I started doing my brows as usual, and I used this for my boxy charm. it's the Brow Gal by Tonya Crooks, and I used that to do my brows, it's just three different powders, like an ashy one, it's kind of, it's a brown, it's ashy, like a, um, a taupey one and a more warmer one. It's just like three different browns. I use that for my brows today. And then for primer, <clears throat> I'm still trying to get my skin together because it just started breaking out like a week or two ago. But I'm you um I use the one heck of a blot instead of the what is that? You know, instead of the Smashbox um photo finish primer. And then for eyes, for my eyes, the I did the iHeart Sage eyeshadow base. But get into this tutorial. We're going to be using this Morphe palette. This is the 35F, which is the fall palette. I know it's nowhere near fall anymore, which I'm okay with because those are my types of colors, but I'm okay with that. But <clears throat> i just been wanting to do this eye look for so long. I've been wanting to do a brown glittery, um, like a smoky brown with um, brown glitter on the lid, but I have a copper glitter that I'm going to put on the lid instead. I'm going to just smoke it out with this whole last roll of matte. This one's the black, of course, and this one's like a reddish brown. I love this for like every day. And these are just different shades of brown. So, I'll be right back and we'll get into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm sorry if you hear a lot of wind. I have my window open so, since it's so nice outside and it's, it's kind of getting windy because it's also getting cloudy. But, um, I'm kind of improvising, oh my god, my words say. I'm kind of improvising the, um, this look as I go. But first, I'm going to jump into this second matte shade right here. That's, um, that's like a medium brown. They're truly, uh, like, medium brown to the, like, the last two or the center one. But, yeah, I'm about to jump into that one, and I'm going to just blend that into the crease. I'm actually also going to start trying to wing this out slowly. Next, I'm going to jump into the slightly darker browns. I'm going to jump into these two. I'm going to mix them together. And I'm going to apply that a little bit lower in the crease because this one I blend it up up here into the brow bone to make a more diffused look between like my brow highlight with the creams and the actual shadows. See, I'm just keeping this one lower in the crease. As you can see, the sh difference in shade between this, that, and then that. So I have that done. As you can see, it's very light. It blends in with my skin a little bit, but it's just gonna add and help blend everything else. So next, I'm going into my Tardis Pro Palette, and I'm jumping in to this brown right here. It looks like a medium tone brown, like a medium chocolate brown, but <coughs> but actually it comes off like really dark. Oh, I don't mean to look you off. But it comes off really dark, and sometimes it is a little bit difficult to blend, but I'm going to go into that. And I'm taking a slightly smaller brush. The other one was more fluffy. It had longer bristles. But I'm going to stick that one right here in the outer part. 
and blend it slowly into the crease. I'm not going all the way in like I did the last two colors. I'm going to keep this on like the other half of the crease. And I'm also going to bring this one out. So. And then I'm going to blend this slowly up as, um, as there's less product on my brush. So next, on the same brush, I'm going to dip into this darker brown called Smoked, and that's the one swatched right here. This was the first one, this is the second one, and then I'm going to keep that on the same brush, and I'm going to keep this just closer right here in this outer corner. I feel like a lot of people when they start with makeup, they go straight for smoky eyes and also um, cut creases. The easiest way to learn how to do a smoky eye, especially if you're doing black or dark, dark browns, is to start with shades similar to each other and slowly build them up because then it helps with the blend. And then once you get to the darker, darker colors, take as little as possible on your brush and then blend them out. As you can see, it's slightly kind of a gradient going this way. And I'm going to have to blend all this out because it's dark. But I'm going to do the next eye, just keeping this right here in this outer corner, really, trying to blend it slightly into the crease, not much. And the same with the wing out, just wing it out slightly, but not much. And then I'm going to take this next one. There's a black in this palette, but I don't like it that much. So <clears throat> I'm going to jump back to my Morphe palette and take the black color. Actually, I think I'm going to mix it with this reddish brown, just slightly. It's not as red as it looks, it's really like a brown, or at least on my skin tone. But I'm going to take this small gum brush that I got from Alta, and I'm going to take a little bit of the black, a little bit of the black, just barely tap that off, and some of the reddish brown to help blend, and I'm going to put that even closer right here. I need to come here. Even closer right on this outer corner. So, <clears throat> the first brush I went in with, I'm going to take this shade next to the first one I used. This is the first color I went into. This one's slightly lighter. I'm dipping into that one, and I'm going to just blend over all the lines. So then this is going to help lighten any places that I went too dark on, and also it's going to help just blend everything together. That's the way I get away. If I um, make a mistake and I blend something too darkly and have trouble trying to blend it out, the way I um, fix that is that I go in with a lighter shade, usually more like a white or a yellow, like a cream white or a yellow. And I help blend that out, and then it just lightens the dark color some. So if one eye is looking dark and the other one's looking slightly less dark, that's all you really gotta do. Instead of like wiping off your whole eye and restarting. Now I'm going to finish off the eyes, or at least the top part of the eyes, and I'm taking this flat brush that I have, and I'm spraying it with water, even though with the shadow I'm going to go in with, you don't really need to use water for any of these, but I'm going in with this shimmery brown, right here in this Morphe palette, right above the black, this side the eye spray. So, I'm just going to take that on the flat brush, and then I'm going to kind of cut the crease with this color. I'm more using this as a base for the glitter and to cut the crease. Now this part I usually don't do on camera, but this is where I have to be quiet or all my eyelashes would be stuck to my eyelid. So I'm taking this angled brush and my duo lash glue, just, just a little bit, I'm going slowly. I'm going to just do this slowly. and. I'm also going to take this NYX glitter, the face and body glitter, brilliance, yeah brilliance, and I'm going to shake it up, because it does have to have a self, it does have a, 
sip sifter in here <laughs> and I have to try to get it out some and this is the shade copper so I'm gonna open that preparing to put it on and I hope a big wind don't come but so I'm gonna take the dual lash glue and I'm gonna go be careful with this part go behind my lashes over the brown and I do have the lash glue in, um, in clear And I'm gonna just trace where I put that shimmery brown. And you do want to be careful because glitter can scratch your cornea and you can go blind. And I'm gonna take, sorry for my hand being in the way, I'm gonna take some of the glitter on the brush and I'm gonna just tap slowly on top of the glue. And try not to um, crease your lid because your eye will stick to itself. So that's the glitter. Now I'm going to go in and try to, even though you can't really after lash glue is down, I'm going to try to blend out this edge with the same brush that I blended out all the colors with. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I'll be back. So, <clears throat> what is going on with my esophagus? So, off camera I applied my number 7 mascara and some Ardell lashes in the style 110. I don't like using the Ardell lashes when I first get them off the tray. Because they do have a clear lash band, and they also have a stripe of glue that glues them to the tray, which I don't mind the stripe of glue because, like, I can just make that non sticky. But if you look real close, you can kind of see the lash band, and I don't really like that when they're new. I like to use them like one to three times, and then you won't see that um, clear band across your liner anymore. But it's whatever, they still look cute. And this was my last, um, the last pair of lashes from them, like this. I used the rest of them. Cause I had bought a multi pack, but then I also did my um, wing eyeliner with the e.l.f. cream gel liner. But now I'm going in with my concealer and my my concealer. <laughs> So I did that with my Better Skin and Tarte Concealer in the shade Medium and Medium Deep. And now I'm taking my Laura Mercier with my Beauty Blender, which I blended out my concealer with. And I'm just going to tap that into the areas where I want to highlight. And also my under eye to set it. Oh, that's a lot. And I'm going to go from the outside in because I know this helps crease this less. And yes, I'm putting a lot. This is by accident. Oops. 
this alternative that we put in a lot because I'm gonna wipe most of the stuff off immediately almost after I do my contour because um, I will look very, very ghosty if I don't. So now, as usual, I'm gonna take my favorite bronzer and that's the NYX Cosmetics bronzer, the matte bronzer and the shade Deep Deep. I believe in the shade Deep, which is their darker shade. On this fan brush from Crown Brushes, I'm gonna just start in small sections. Now I'm really gonna define the cheek. Also, because I put so much of that powder. <laughs> Now I'm going with this big fluffy powder brush and I'm going to blend all that together and blend away all the excess powder. And under the eye, I'm going to go over multiple times real close to the lash line because I need to make sure all that extra powder is gone or I'll look very creasy. I'll look very highlighted. <laughs> yeah, since I look so highlighted, I'm also going to contour my nose. Okay, so now to work on the lower lash line, I'm taking this medium brow from the Morphe palette on this, this Royal Elaine Nickel brush, this short definer brush. Oh wait, I can't do this. <laughs> so I'm taking this and putting it, I'm smudging it down. And then I'm gonna take this orange shade, the match the glitter, called Whimsy. Yeah, it's called Whimsy in my Tarte palette. On this smaller brush, it's a little bit thinner. And they get closer to the lash line. And I'm gonna just smudge that right closest to the lash line. And then I'm gonna go back in with that other brush to blend that out some. And I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, but I'm gonna take my mascara by number seven. It was great for the lower lashes, especially. Oh, the wind. Oh, look at that glitter. And I'm gonna just coat my lower lashes. In the corner, I'm gonna take the same brush I used on my lower lash line because I'm too lazy to get my actual inner corner brush and probably need to be washed. And I'm gonna wet it with some water and I'm gonna take this golden shade right here. This, yep, this golden shade. And I'm gonna take that and put it on my inner corner. And so I bought that, I don't think I sell this anymore, but it's the Afterglow Palette by Be um, Becca. And I'm taking this blush, which is Wild Honey, this new colored blush. Um, my brush, blush, br blush, brush, blush, brush. And I'm gonna put that all over my cheek. It's a very old, my word today. It's a very subtle blush, cause also it's kind of my skin tone. And it's more like a bronzer blush mix, kind of but you do see it a little bit and then because I want an intense highlight I'm taking my setting brush by uh, Real Techniques and Topaz highlighter from Becca and I'm gonna put that more focus right here but I'm gonna blend this out and for the last few steps I'm gonna take this small little brush I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with the same highlighter I'm gonna take this lip color. It's Taos Taos by Carl Cosmetics. I got it in my boxy charm. 
But I'm trying to make sure there's no product on my lip because this is already a very new gloss. And just cause I'm extra, I'm gonna take my black gel liner and this little liner brush is now my favorite brush for liner. I'm gonna dip just into the tip, just the tip, into my um, e.l.f. black gel liner. I'm gonna create a little, little dot. It's a little bigger than what I wanted, but it's still cute. So, next. The last two things there is, of course. I'm gonna take my finishing spray. Fan, fan it, fan it, whatever you find, whatever you find. Don't break your Morphe powder, but whatever you find, just fan it, fan it away. So I ended up changing my lip to this bright color. It kind of, it's like, it looks red, but it looks orange. I don't know what the name of the color is. And with the copper glitter, I really like it. It gives a nice pop to the look. So I did end up changing it. And this is Phantom by DSL Matte Lipstick. DSL, and it's called Phantom. So that's what I'm wearing right now with this eye look. And it just gave a nice pop, a nice sultry look to this. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like down below. A subscribe. Also down below. Comment. And share this with your people. Bye. I'll see you next Saturday. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't look at my lash line. <laughs>